Out of 10,000 submissions to the Royal Commission, 134 people were given the opportunity to share their stories on the witness stand. Others have had to watch from the sidelines despite being embroiled in financial nightmares of their own. Here's National Consumer Affairs reporter Amy Bainbridge. Pastor Grant Stewart is used to speaking to his congregation, but he found it tough giving evidence to the Banking Royal Commission. I think it was the, the emotional dimension to it and dealing with what was quite a, a difficult issue for us as a family. Grant spoke about how his son with Down syndrome was cold called, then sold multiple life insurance policies. You can choose between four and 15,000 to leave behind for your loved ones just in case you die. So do you think 10,000 would be enough for you? I don't mind. I find it um, difficult even now to, to listen to the audio recordings that were made and, and it, it takes me back to that time when I was quite angry. The Commission has recommended a ban on cold calling for insurance products. That feels like a win. It targets uh, vulnerable people who are at risk who have sometimes no idea what's going on. Others had hoped for more action. Mark Weir was among the thousands of people to lose everything in the collapse of Storm Financial. He wanted criminal prosecutions. Going forward, uh, that's the only uh, chance we have of, uh, of uh, restraining the profligacy of uh, people in that industry. He's joined consumer groups in welcoming the compensation scheme of last resort for victims. But another witness, Ryan Lowe, says the recommendations should have gone further. Mr Lowe's family was pursued by Suncorp over bank loans to his father's business after his death in a workplace accident. I really hope they were going to tighten up small business um, lending, just purely because the situation that we'd been put in, I would hate for somebody to be put in. It's stressful, it's, you know, it, it just... It consumes you and, and, it, and unfortunately, you know, you're left in a really, really bad position. Consumer groups say the recommendations must be swiftly implemented. Amy Bainbridge, ABC News.